So in this next series of videos, we're gonna be building a super budget pixie bike. Now this bike is an old steel frame 10 speed bike. I've had this since I was a kid. So I actually got this out of somebody's trash. And uh, what I did is I stripped it down and I painted it. And from there, I kind of just gave up on it. But it's been sitting up in my attic for years. And I saw it and I'm like, it's probably a pretty cool set of videos to build a budget pixie. Now this is a steel frame, super heavy. The wheels are gone, there's in the trash. And also this bike has a, an American style bottom bracket, which um, is really big and really heavy. So it's like a one piece forged crank. They call it, I think an Ashtabula crank. And that's gone too, because that thing probably weighs as much as 10 carbon fiber bikes. So that's gone. And also this bike had a kickstand. I'm gonna cut that off, smooth it up. And uh, I actually painted this when I was a kid. So we're gonna get rid of the paint, strip it down and repaint it. So in this next series of videos, we're going to be doing everything from beginning to end. Here's a closer view of the American style bottom bracket. Here we're going to be using an adapter so we can incorporate a Shimano UN55 bottom bracket. Here we're going to be taking off the stem. This is a quill style stem. And here it is. You can see it's cut at a 45 degree angle, which allows it to tighten inside of the fork tube. All right, here we're pulling off the fork and the fork tube, exposing the bearing, the races and bearing cups. Okay, they look like they're in pretty good shape. We'll clean those up. And some solvent. And next we'll be knocking out the bearing cups. Okay, here I'm trimming the fork to accommodate the new wheels and cutting off the kickstand. Right here I have the bike outside. Grinding off all the old paint, getting it ready for new coat of primer and new paint. Well, all right, here's a finished product. Actually took a little bit longer than I thought it was gonna take, but it's a super clean job. Much better than hand sanding. With hand sanding, I don't know, probably, I've seen videos, there's no doubt it probably took these guys six, seven hours and the job wouldn't be quite as clean. It took me roughly two hours or so. So I'm going to break this up in a few videos, um, maybe three or four parts, but when I have all of those four parts together, you can watch each one in its entirety, or I'm going to make one final video, which condenses the beginning to the end. So it's not quite as drawn out. Hope you like the content. Leave me some comments, some suggestions, hit that little bell, um, and subscribe. Thanks a lot so much, everybody. Take care.